Welcome back everybody to the really infrequently updated videos on my YouTube vlog. Also, for those of you who don't know, my name is T.R. Crumbly, and this is the Gluten Free Crumbly vlog, and welcome if you are new to the vlog. I am really excited today because it is the return of Food Tip Wednesday, FTW for short, which, for those of you who may not know other abbreviations, is also short for For the Win, so I thought it was really clever and funny, and hopefully it was. I don't know, it might be just super lame. But yes, back to Food Tip Wednesday. Today we are focusing on a brand new book from one of my friends, Heather Jacobson. It is titled, Going Gluten-Free, Seven Surprising Facts You Should Know If You Want to Achieve Dietary Success. So for those of you who don't know, Heather is a researcher, a author, and is the owner of a really amazing online gluten-free resource called Stuff Pepper. It is this really great community magazine that has a bunch of great resources for people who are brand new to being gluten-free or people who have been gluten-free for a while but aren't quite getting the type of dietary success that they've been wanting. So, as it says on the title page, minor stroke. As it says on the cover of the book, there are seven surprising facts about being gluten-free inside of this book, and I'm not going to share them on this video because I want you to go get the book and read it for yourself, but there are a couple that I really want to just tease for you, to entice you to go get this really great, short, succinct, to the point book. The first is that you don't have to be celiac to have issues with gluten, and the second is that not everything that says it's gluten-free is really gluten-free. It's something that I've learned the hard way many times before. Theoretically, I've gotten that under control and I've come to a point where I have a really good understanding of what is gluten-free and what's lying about being gluten-free. But if you, I, I really recommend that you go get this book and that fact alone and the content that she has in the book for that fact are worth the purchase alone. And in addition to the seven facts, there's two things at the back of the book that I really enjoy. One of which is a gluten sensitivity test, which isn't meant to be a self-diagnosis. You should always go to a dietitian or doctor for any kind of dietary changes and let them help you guide through the process. But the test in the back of this book is really good for helping you understand if you have any potential for a gluten sensitivity or celiac. The other thing in the back of this book that I really enjoy is that there is a little cheat sheet for the foods that you wouldn't think have gluten in them, but really they're kind of sneaky. My favorite jerk sneaky food is soy sauce. Soy sauce you wouldn't think has gluten in it, but most soy sauce, unless you buy the certified gluten-free soy sauce in the store is a total jerk and has gluten in it. And I've had many sad days when I was becoming gluten-free trying to, you know, learn that really harsh fact and I'm getting really sad flashbacks. And I, let's talk about something else, right? <laughs> so, like I said, the book, Seven Facts, it's not a heavy read. As you can see, it's a pretty short and sweet read that is perfectly to the point. And I highly encourage you guys, go buy this book, go check it out. I will include the link in the, bio, in the description of this video below. Um, it's a really great resource for anybody who is newly diagnosed and needs to be gluten-free, or if you have a family member or friend who's struggling with converting to a gluten-free diet, and I will see you guys later. I'm going to try, if I have some success, I'm going to try to have a Game of Thrones inspired surprise on the vlog on Friday. If it's a complete disaster, I might just throw it up anyways because if it's a disaster, it will be freaking hilarious. Also, coming soon to the vlog slash blog, there is going to be a recipe for a gluten-free cookies and cream ice cream cheesecake. I know that it looks like I just tried to do some horrible dance, but that is honestly a really hard series of words to say really quickly. 
and without breaking and having to edit the video horribly. See you guys later. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, YouTube jazz. Talk to you guys later. Bye.